So I wanted to start off my blog from a tutorial of some sort maybe or uh, maybe some tips but I think I'm going to start it from a, from a beef. Everything was going good. Uh, I was doing some great shots and uh, I decided to change this focuser on the ED80. Now, so this is the stock 2-inch Crayford focuser. And it's a pretty good focuser. And what's good about it is um, this, in the bag, this uh, 0.85 reducer for the ED80. I mean, it's, an, it's a dedicated reducer. And what it does is it... Uh, It threads right on top of the focuser. So why is that good? That eliminates any tilt whatsoever, any flexure. It's perfectly perpendicular to the optical path. Well, that was great. And I was getting great images. Uh, but I decided to change to a focuser like this. This is the, the GSO 2-speed focuser with the, obviously with the micro adjustment here um, you got the course adjustment and the micro adjustment which is really important for me because I want to you know get those pinpoint stars and the only way to do it is with these little micro adjustments yes I could get the focus on on this um, with the stock focuser uh, pretty good uh, but when you hold this baby to the zenith, right? I mean, it's it's not steady. It starts uh, it starts pulling. Like I, I I'm sorry, I have the camera in one hand. I can't show you, but and and it does have a lock, right? It has a lock, but when you lock it, it moves the focuser a bit, and so you have to estimate or guesstimate where that perfect uh, pinpoint star is at, the, at, its small, at its smallest point and then you have to lock it a little bit of either uh, out or in of the focus. So I decided to change it. Amazing focuser. I mean, I compared to this thing, this is miles ahead. I mean, the material, the craftsmanship is, is pretty good. I mean, everything looks good about it. I put it on. And this is what I'm getting in the corner. I don't know if you could see. Um, not good. Not good at all. I mean, let's scoop to the middle of the frame. If we go to the middle of the frame, somewhere here, I mean, the stars are pretty circular, right? Uh, can't focus, sorry. But here, what is, what, is, what is this? Now they start going to the side. I mean, I'm pretty picky, probably. Okay, no, here. No, this is horrible, right? This is a no-no. I mean, I have good images, like... Where is my astro bin? Like, I did images like that, right? But if you, if you zoom in, this was before I had the proper spacing on my, uh, on my reducer. Um, so you'll see that at the very edge, this is what's happening. So eventually I fixed the, I fixed the uh, spacing and I was able to get, um, here's the uh, horse, horse uh, shoe nebula with the proper spacing. So let me go to full resolution and I'll show you what I mean. So if you look at this in the corner, we're in the corner right now, right? Are we? Yeah. I mean, this is as good as it's going to get for uh, for this type of uh, telescope. Yeah, I could probably do a little better here. Maybe there was a little tilt, but nothing what's happening um, right now. Where's my pics in sight? Nothing like that. And yes, they do say when you stack images, those elongated stars in the corners do kind of get rounded a bit. So maybe I am picky, but anyways, so here, well, here's, the, here's my beef. The beef is this. 
Now, notice how I'm back on the old one because I, uh, I was panicking, so I, I put the old focuser back and now I'm using the, uh, the Holtec uh, self-centering laser. I've made this little um, cap from paper by basically cutting out um, just a sheet of paper around the uh, dew shield and then folding it around and when you fold the paper in four in four two times you get a perfect circle you get a perfect uh center right in the middle there right and then just put a hole there so basically this is this is me uh putting the focuser last night without any adjustments let's put turn the let's turn this laser on where are we we're like we're a little bit off right so so mistake number one when you put a focuser on Make sure you collimate it properly, uh, because even a shift like that will uh, probably have some effect on your images, right? So now that I've seen that this one is like that, the the main reason I put it back is because the uh, the reducer, this reducer, let's take it out. It's a really nice reducer. I just don't want it to get dusty. I'm very anal about all this. So this is the reducer without the uh, the bag. Uh, really nice reducer. Uh, and it's thread on, right? You see the threads over there? And so this is really important. So now what do we get with, uh, with this one? Well, we have a two inch tube, right? And it has a clamp. See, it has a clamp with two thumb screws. Now, when you, assuming, assuming, after I'll put this uh, focuser back on and uh, shim it properly so that the laser uh, comes out right in the, in the middle, here's what I want to show you. One second. So, here's the uh, GSO one and a quarter adapter that goes in here, right? Notice how it goes in perfectly, right? I mean, and I even like the, the sound of it. When you adjust these, this guy's pretty good. So when you adjust it, it stays perpendicular. I mean, you can't see it, but you just have to take my word for it. Now, watch what happens when I take this guy. Now this guy is the flow adapter. And what is what is this? Well this screws onto your uh, reducer, right? Screws like this. So this is the flow adapter, this is the reducer. All right? So now, because this one does this focuser doesn't have threads on it, you have to stick this baby in, right? And I've already put some tape on this because I was playing with it because this is where the, the, the problem is. So you put it in, right? I'm gonna pause this because I can't control this with one hand. Oh. So basically, you put this in, and when you tighten this, this thing moves. And the way it moves is, I don't know if you can see. Let's try this. So watch it. Oh, there it goes. Did you see it move? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna tighten it. Hang on, let's put it. Let's, okay, I'm tightening it now. Hope, oh, there it goes. And that's the beef. Now, I don't know if this is if this alone is causing elongated stars, or the combination of that plus the uh, centering of the focuser. But together, I'm extremely upset about this. And so this is what I'm finicking with with right now. Um, and until I get this resolved, I will be a very, very unhappy person. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah. So the final thing is, if we're on the topic of 
collimation of the focuser and the tilt and the, of the optical path and all that. Um, the thing to remember is uh, the distance from the reducer to the sensor is critical, right? Everyone knows that. Uh, if you don't have the right distance, you will have either elongated stars in the edges or they will uh, kind of be like a circle, you know, like that on each side. Um, but that's not my problem. Why? Because this uh, T-ring is a dedicated T-ring specifically made for this reducer. It's a Nikon specifically made for the Nikon F mount. And so the spacing should be right. And it was okay because I haven't changed anything from here going to the uh, to the chip. Everything was changed from here forward. And so I'm ruling that out. And so these are my wolves. And this is what I'm working on. And maybe uh, next time I'll have something more positive to show you. Thank you.